Tonight, Florida is on track to smash voter turnout records. But even with early voting and vote by mail, could Central Floridians expect to see those long lines at the polls on Election Day? And what if, once again, Florida's election results are too close to call? Knock on wood. Mm. Don't jinx us. Really News 6 it. investigator Mike DeForest joins us now. So, Mike, could we see a repeat of past problems on Election Day? Uh, come on, Lisa. This is Florida, so <laughs> any, anything is possible. Uh, but elections officials do believe that fewer people are going to be showing up at their neighborhood precincts on Election Day thanks to all that early voting and vote by mail. Of course, interest in this election is extremely high, with the presidential race expected to be particularly close here in Florida. This is what Election Day lines looked like in 2012, as voters decided whether President Barack Obama should be replaced by Mitt Romney. In some precincts, voters were still casting ballots after midnight. The reason? That year, the typical ballot was several pages longer than this year's ballot, so it took longer to vote. And there were fewer days to vote early. In 2012, the Florida legislature did cut early voting down to one week. They learned their lesson. Now, most counties like Orange offer 14 days of early voting. Meanwhile, the coronavirus pandemic has prompted a record number of people to vote by mail. Right now, we're almost the 40 percent of the voters in Orange County have cast a ballot. Orange County Supervisor of Elections Bill Cowles predicts that number will grow this week, meaning less than half of the county's voters will need to show up next Tuesday. So I think the math says that voters should have a quicker experience on Election Day. According to the CBS Battleground Tracker, the race between President Donald Trump and Vice President Joe Biden could be extremely close in Florida, raising the chances of a recount. Many remember the 19 days it took for Florida to recount ballots following the 2000 presidential election until the U.S. Supreme Court stepped in, prompting Al Gore to concede to George W. Bush. Since the 2000 election, Florida has streamlined its process, and we proved it in 2018. That year, there were three statewide automatic recounts, including the race for governor, where less than 34,000 votes separated Ron DeSantis from Andrew Gillum. The U.S. Senate race between Rick Scott and Bill Nelson was even closer, prompting an additional hand recount. Cowles conducted those recounts in 2018 by the state's deadline, and he's confident he could do it again if needed. Voters can help us prevent a recount by getting out and voting in this election. So more people who vote helps our chances of having wider margins. Now, right after the 2018 recounts, Orange County purchased three high-speed ballot counting machines to help with any future recounts. But election supervisor Cowles tells me that those machines are already being put into use, processing that record number of mail-in ballots. Matt and Lisa. All right, fingers crossed there are no issues this <laughs> oh. year. We do want to let you know this is the last week to vote early. You can find information on polling places near you, sample ballots, and more at clickorlando.com slash results 2020.